bevel emboss, add a drop shadow, things like that to an image. All right, now I've chosen two types of image here. I have text and I have a shape, just so you can kind of see what it does to both at the same time. I've merged the two layers together because, you know, whenever you create text, it creates its own layer. So I merge these two together so that when I show you something, it'll show you both. All right, so to do this, I'm simply going to select layer and I'm going to select layer style. This gives me a number of options for things I can do, like bevel and boss, stroke, inner shadow, glow, uh, all different overlays, outer shadow, drop shadow. I'm going to show you most of these, not all of them. Um, let's start out with bevel and emboss. Basically, bevel and emboss gives something a 3D-like appearance. And right now we have an inner bevel selected. So let me just show you how to really, really, really make that um, large. So I'm going to show you just some of the different types here. All right, let's see. I just need to move. Make sure I'm selected a photo. Oh, here we go. All right, so we've created a very big bevel. And you can see what it looks like when it's sharp versus not. So here it gets something a 3D like effect. Um, for text, you have to be very small in size. You can see what the text looks like when it's beveled. It gives it a nice 3D-like appearance, and it gives this square a nice 3D-like appearance. If I make the square bigger and soften it up a bit, it makes it almost appear rounded. Um, if I do an outer bevel, it makes it like kind of appear like it's popping out of the screen. Um, I can do an emboss, like a pillow and emboss, and it makes like, look at the text, it looks like it's actually pushed into the screen. Now, I'm not going to keep that. I'm going to show you the next one. Let's go to Stroke. <clears throat> stroke actually puts a black line right around your text. Look how nice that feature looks with the text, and I can make that much bigger. Um, but look how quick and easy it is to make that, and I can change the color and stuff like that, and I can position it in the inside or the outside. Um, let's show you guys a glow. Uh, let's show you an outer glow. And basically what an outer glow is, and let me use a different color just so you can see this better. Use a nice blue. I'll let's change this to normal, and let's show you what it looks like. We'll make it pretty big. There we go. Now you can see the glow. And you can actually change this glow to make it all kinds of different effects you can change here, create with this feature. It's actually a very useful feature, something that can be used all the time. And the last one I'm going to show you guys is simply a drop shadow, which is, as it explains, a shadow. You can change the angle of all of these. And guys, I'm just showing you some of the features. I'm not going through every single one of these for a video on YouTube. I just want to show you the basics really of how to access the tools. I expect you guys to go in and actually play around with these to learn how to use them. As you can see, I've created a nice little drop shadow for both of my shapes. And that's how you change the layer styles. All right, thanks.